blue coat and it comes from a very cold country where you need a warm coat in order to keep warm. There was once a family who longed for a child. For years and years they waited for a child. The whole extended family was excited about the possibility of a child being born. And of all of the family, perhaps the most excited was the grandfather. Now this story is not only from a cold country, but it's set long ago, long before we had sewing machines or factories to make clothes. And people had to cut the material by hand and they had to stitch by hand to make their clothes. They had to be pretty clever to make something that fitted beautifully. And so finally the baby was born. And to celebrate the grandfather, who was a tailor, he went and he bought a beautiful piece of blue wool. Oh, and he took that blue wool home and he stitched a beautiful hem on that blanket to make a baby's blanket. And with every stitch, he stitched his love and his hopes and his dreams for the boy. And so when that baby was wrapped in that blanket, he felt like he was being hugged, even when he was all alone in his cot. Well, as babies do, the boy got bigger, he started to crawl, and he would drag this baby blanket with him wherever he went. And then he started to toddle, and slowly he began to run. But wherever he went, he would take this blanket with him. He would toddle through the, the mud and he would go out in the wind and the snow until, as you can imagine, the blanket started to get really a bit raggedy. And you can join in with these parts if you like to. The mother, she looked at that baby's blanket all tattered and torn and she shook her head and she waggled her finger and she said, dear, 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 that baby's blanket is all worn out. We'd better get it fixed. So they gave it back to Grandad. He took out his best scissors. Can you get out your best scissors? And he cut out the best parts and he fitted them together, piecing one part to another part until he had made the boy a beautiful blue coat. Let's get the arms as well. Mmm. Oh, and that boy. He loved that blue coat. He wore it in the sunshine, he wore it in the rain, he wore it in the wind and he wore it in the snow. He ran and jumped and danced and twirled in it. He splashed through the puddles and he rolled in the mud. Until as you can imagine, one day it so tatty, his, his mother, she shook her head and she waggled her finger and she said, dear, 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 that blue coat is all worn out. We'd better get it fixed. So they gave it back to, you might remember some of the words and be able to join in. They gave it back to Grandad. He got out his best scissors. He put it on the table and he spent all day cutting out the best parts and piecing them together, fitting one part to another part until he had made that boy a beautiful blue waistcoat. <gasps> And that boy, he loved that blue waistcoat. He wore it in the rain, he wore it in the wind, he wore it in the sunshine, and he wore it in the snow. He ran and jumped and danced and twirled in it. He splashed through the puddles and he rolled in the mud. Until one day, what did his mother say? She shook her head and she waggled her finger and she said, dear, 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 that blue waistcoat is all worn out. We'd better get it fixed. So. Who did they give it back to? Grandad. They gave it back to Grandad. He put it on his table. He spent, he got out his, his best scissors and he spent all day cutting out the best parts and fitting them together, piecing one part to another part until he had made him a beautiful blue hat. Oh, that boy, he loved that blue hat. He wore it in the sunshine, he wore it in the rain, he wore it in the wind and he wore it in the snow. He ran and jumped and danced and twirled in it. He splashed through the puddles and he rolled in the mud. Until one day his mother, she shook her head and she waggled her finger and she said, Dear, 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 that blue hat is all worn out. We'd better get it fixed. So they gave it back to Granddad. He put it on his table. He got out his best. Scissors. He spent all day cutting out the best parts and piecing them together, piecing one part to another part, until he had made the boy a beautiful blue 
bow tie. It's a very old story. Oh, that boy, he loved that blue bow tie. He wore it in the sunshine, he wore it in the rain, he wore it in the wind and he wore it in the snow. He ran and jumped and danced and twirled in it. He splashed through the puddles and he rolled in the mud. Until one day his mother, she shook her head and she waggled her finger and she said, Dear, 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 that blue tie is all worn out. We'd better get it fixed. So they gave it back to Grandad. He got out his best scissors. He spent all day cutting out the best parts and piecing them together, piecing one part to another part until he had made the boy a beautiful blue button. Oh, that boy, he loved that blue button. He wore it in the sunshine, he wore it in the rain, he wore it in the wind and he wore it in the snow. He ran and jumped and danced and twirled in it. He splashed through the puddles and he rolled in the mud until one day his mother, she shook her head and she waggled her finger and she said, dear, 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 that blue button is all worn out. We'd better get it fixed. So they gave it back to Grandad. He put it on his table. He got out his best scissors. I think you know this story by now. He spent all day cutting out the best parts and piecing them together. What can he make this time? And finally, he had made the boy a beautiful, not a coat, but a beautiful story. A story of the blue coat. And that boy, he loved that story so much that he told all his friends and family. And they told all their friends and family. Well, they told all their friends and family and they told me the story of the blue coat. So now I'm telling you so that you, you can go out and tell your friends and family the story of the blue coat.